everyone! In this video, we're going to talk about some tips and tricks in navigating Tesla Ontario's 2020 virtual conference. So by now, you have registered for the conference, received your registration information, and have hopefully watched the how-to video that was sent out earlier in the week. Now, if you haven't watched the how-to video, I would suggest to give it a look through as it helps break down what to expect with Feedloop, which is a conferencing platform that Tesla Ontario is using. Don't fret if you haven't watched it though, the link is posted below in the description. With that, let's get started with our tips and tricks. So first things first, let's focus on troubleshooting. Upon receiving your email with the registration information, you'll notice that the password is made of several random alphanumeric characters. When copying and pasting your password, make sure you don't copy the space between the colon and the start of your password. If you notice that you're entering everything and you think it's right but you keep getting an error, make sure that you haven't included the blank space which is acting like a character in your password. Also, once you've entered your password once, I would strongly suggest that you save your username and password. This way you don't have to keep re-entering your information each time. Doing this will definitely save you some hassle. As Feedloop is web-based, it works with most commonly used modern browsers but it really is best suited for Chrome or Microsoft Edge. So if you notice that a feature doesn't seem to be working as you would expect, switch and try a different browser. If you join the presentation and click connect audio, but you cannot hear anything, the next step would be to check your volume. Make sure that your volume is not muted on your device. The next step would be to go to your sound settings. This makes sure that the output device is correct. By doing this, you're checking to see whether, where the audio is coming out of. This will show you whether you may have left your headphones plugged in or maybe you have your audio coming out of an alternate monitor. The alternative to that is that you join the presentation, but the video is not present. This is probably linked to your internet connection, so check your connection or move closer to your router. Finally, if you're having technical troubles with Feedloop, reach out with a technical help button on the bottom left hand side of your screen. When clicked, you can write in your problem and send it off. Now we're going to focus on how to create your own personalized schedule. There is a super cool feature that you can use to personalize your conference specifically for you. On the sessions page, as you already know, all the sessions for the entire conference are listed there, which can seem like a lot to scroll through. So you can always search for your presentation or use a filter button, but you can also actually make a personalized schedule for your own conference. On the top left hand side of each session, you'll see a little plus sign. You can click this and it'll turn into a check mark. This means that it has been added to your schedule. So you can go through and add all your sessions. Once finished, you can go to the filter button and click on the first option to filter by personal schedule. As you can see, all the sessions that you have added are here. Now, just an important reminder, if you leave your presentation screen, you will leave the presentation. Of course, getting back to sessions is very easy. Simply click back into sessions, click on the presentation that you want to join, click on join audio, and then you're back in. However, it's important to remember that the presentation is live, so when you leave, you are missing what the presenter is saying. Just like if you were in a face-to-face -face conference and left the room, you can always come back, but you will have missed what the presenter has said. We're going to switch gears now into the best ways to network. In order to network to the best of your abilities, you need to tell people who you are and make yourself recognizable. On the accounts page, you're able to personalize your profile. You can add your profile image in order for others to recognize you. You can add a description to tell individuals what you're interested in and where your focus lies. You can also add your website, Twitter handle, and your LinkedIn profile. You even have the options to modify the privacy of your account by making certain sections invisible if you don't want them to show. You can also add any documents that you'd like to share and modify your password to something a bit more memorable. Now obviously you can use the networking page to search for both members and speakers. 
but you can also use the exhibit hall page to contact organizations that are participating in the TESOL conference. It is important to remember that you can contact organizations in four ways. You can start chatting with the organization publicly, message organization members privately, contact them through their social media or email, or as you can see by this join live icon, some organizations have included video conferencing. If organizations have this icon, you will also be able to hop on a video call. Although the conference has changed to virtual, don't let this stop you from networking. Finally, this is a good time to remind everyone about the general etiquette. So as you can see, the lobby page, every session in the sessions page, and the exhibit hall page all have public chats. This means that anything you post can be seen by everyone, even if you leave. So just remember to be respectful with your comments. Okay, so that about sums up all the tips and tricks in navigating your virtual conference. Although different from previous years, please use this opportunity to experiment, explore, and have an absolute blast. Thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you all there. Bye.